Hello everybody, this is Caitlin with the Twins of Brick Library here for another Alphabet Story Time. And today, I think we're going to talk about another letter. I wonder which one it could be. I hope we'll have to find out. But first, let's sing about all of the letters. Now this time, let's go ahead and try and sing the alphabet song backwards. Think we can do it? I think we can. Let's try it. I'll point to the letters. You guys sing along with me. Ready? Z, Y, X. W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, and don't forget A. Now I know my Z, Y, X is bet that's not what you expected. Very good, my friends. I've got all of my uppercase letters. I'm missing another lowercase letter. Let's go ahead and be letter detectives. All right. I think I see one missing. Do you guys see it? I see it over here. I wonder which letter that could be. It's the one after I, but before the K. Let's take a look over here and see if we can figure it out. I found that I. What comes next? J! Very good! Our letter of the day is J! And somebody took it! Let's find out who was... Uh, what kind of animal is this? Ooh, got really cool spots on it. I think this is called a jaguar. Oh no, poor jaguar stole our J! Let's see. Mr. Jaguar, will you please give back our J? I just really wanted to jump very high, and I thought eating a J would help. Do you think eating a letter J is going to help anybody jump? No, you silly jaguar. But you know what? Maybe learning a little bit more about the letter J will help you jump. Because the, what the letter does jump start with? J! Oh, well that sounds interesting. Can you tell me some more? What do you guys think? Think we can help her? Let's do it first. Let's put our J back and let's see. What letter does, or what sound does the letter J make? See, Jaguar and Jump both start with the letter J. It makes a J sound. Let's go ahead and sing our letter sound song with our Jaguar. Can we do it? Let's do it, ready? The J says J, the J says J. All the letters make a sound and the J says J. Very good, my friends. All right, I think I'm ready to do a little bit more with the letter J and read a story. Let's see, this one has two J words in it. We've got Jabari Jumps and Jabari is a very cool name. So let's go see how about why Jabari is jumping. I wonder what he's gonna jump to. Hmm. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really? said his dad. I'm, the diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and had passed his swim test. Now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way to the end of the board as big as, as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge. They spread their arms, bent their knees, and sprang up, up, up. And then they dove down, down, down. Splash! Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay? called his dad. Just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. Tiny rest sounded like a good idea. Uh-oh, do you think he's really tired? Maybe he might be a little scared. Let's see. 
When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, his dad said his dad. Sometimes I feel a little scared. I take a deep breath and tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. Jabari loved surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and filled it, felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up. He began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. And his toes curled around the rough edge. <gasps> uh oh, he looks like he's really high. Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. He sprang up, up off the board, flying. And Jabari hit the water with a splash. Down, 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 down he went. And then back up. Whoosh. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next. The end. Jumping and Jabari are another great J words. So we learned some words that start with J and the little sound it makes. Do you think we can learn the upper and lowercase now? I think we can. Let's see if we can plot the big uppercase J and the little lowercase J. Big uppercase. Little lowercase. Big. Little. Big. Little. Big. Little. Do you guys think you can remember that? I don't know. I think I'm to quiz you guys. Ready? Big or little? Big. Big or little? Big. Big or little? Big or little? Big. Big or little? Little. Big or little? Both of them. Very good, my friends. Now, I think it might be time to do a little singing all about another J word called a jungle. The jungle has all kinds of animals. So let's go ahead and do some singing about all kinds of animals we can find in the jungle. Ready? Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a big fat elephant washing his nose with the rub-a-dub here and a rub-a-dub there. That's the way he washes his nose. All right, let's see where else we can find in the jungle. Ready? Down in the jungle where there's nobody there, here's a big scary lion washing his hair with the rub-a-dub here and a rub-a-dub there. There it goes. That's how the lion washes his hair. All right, let's see what else are we going to be able to find. Ready? Down in the jungle, if you look in the trees, there's a very silly monkey washing his knees with a rub-a-dub here and a rub-a-dub there. That's the way he washes his knees. All right, I think I've got some more animals ready. Down in the jungle, if you care to check, there's a very tall giraffe washing his neck with a rub-a-dub here and a rub-a-dub there. That's the way he washes his neck. All right, this next one's scary. Are you ready? Down in the jungle, if you look underneath, there's a great big crocodile brushing his teeth with a rub-a-dub here and a rub-a-dub there. That's the way he brushes his teeth. All right, I've got one more ready. Down in the jungle, if you take a peek, there's a big colorful bird washing his beak with a rub-a-dub here and a rub-a-dub there. That's the way he washes his beak. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of animals in our jungle. Let's see, can you guys count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six animals in the jungle. Very good, my friends. I think I'm ready to read a little bit more about the jungle. Let's see, I've got a friend named Jazzy in the jungle, and Jazzy starts with the letter J. Let's see what else starts with the letter J in our Jazzy book. 
Jazzy in the jungle. <gasps> Mama Jojo and Baby Jazzy are playing hide and seek in the jungle. Where are you, Baby Jazzy? Hey, look, Mama Jojo has two J's in it. Let's see if we can find Baby Jazzy. <gasps> Not here, said Anteater. Not here, says Snake. Not here, says Hummingbird. Not here, says Lizard. Not here, says Leopard. Try, try looking by the tum-tum trees. Let's see. Mama Jojo looks by the tum-tum trees. Where is baby Jazzy? Mm, let's see. Uh-oh. Not here, said Curly Bur Whirly Bird. Not here, says the parrot. Not here, says the crocodile. Not here, says the chameleon. Not here, says the hairy caterpillar. Not here, says the gorilla. Try looking by the fl fl flowers. Goodness gracious, Jazzy's really good at hiding. Do you think he's going to be by the flowers? I don't know. Mama Jojo looks by the fl fl flowers. Where are you, baby Jazzy? Let's see. Not here, says the tiger. Not here, says the frog. Not here, says the big red bird. Not here, says the dragonfly. Not here, says the baboon. Not here, says the butterfly. Not here, says the elephant. Let's all look by the big boo trees. Let's see. Oh, baby Jazzy, will I ever find you? What do you guys think? Let's see. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Let's see. Ah, oh, found you, baby Jazzy. I love you, Mama Jojo. Thank goodness he found his friend, Mom. Oh my goodness! Wow, those were some awesome J books. Now I think about I'm about ready to do some crafting all with the letter J. You guys ready to do it with me? Let's do it. I'll meet you over there. And if you didn't get your crafty book from the library, that's okay. You can go ahead and download and print out your very own copy from the description below. Hello, everybody. Let's go ahead and start crafting. All right. Can you find the letter we were talking about? The letter J? It's right there. Let's go ahead and color that one in. I'm gonna color mine in this crayon's called Scarlet. Why not? It looks like a very cool color. And then we'll see what we're gonna turn the letter J into. I think they're gonna be really cool. All right, let's open it up and find that letter J. Ooh, J is for jellyfish and J is for jack-o-lantern oh those are some really good ones so let's go ahead and take a look at our pieces find the big j and the little j so obviously this is going to be our part of our jellyfish and we're going to turn the big uppercase j into one of its tentacles and then we're going to take the lowercase j and give him a goofy face with a little stem and make him look like a jack-o-lantern. So let's go ahead and start coloring. I'm going to color my jellyfish a light blue, but maybe you want to have a purple jellyfish or a green jellyfish or whatever color you want. You can do that. And then I'm going to color in the uh, face black, but you could also do yellow. It would look really cool. Or really, you can make him glow any kind of colors and then his stem brown. All right, now you have your choice. You can have your grown-ups cut this out while you color your big uppercase letters, or we will go back to that and cut that out later. So I'm going to use the same blue, and I'm going to color my big J for my tentacle. But maybe you have a rainbow jellyfish, and you want one of its tentacles to be a different color. You can do that. All right. And, of course, I'm going to make my jack-o'-lantern orange. But sometimes jack-o'-lanterns are green or white or really, you can make your jack-o'-lantern whatever color. All right, if you haven't already, now it's time to get to cutting.
All right, now let's go ahead and start gluing. All right, in order to turn our big uppercase J into a jellyfish, we just have to glue on the top part of our jellyfish. Add some glue to his tentacles, like that. And then go ahead and position that all the way up. And press down those tentacles and look at that, we've got a spooky looking jellyfish. Now let's move on to our spooky looking jacket lantern. So I'm gonna go ahead and add his stem all the way at the top and add his face. And if you want to, you don't even have to use these pieces. You can go ahead and color your own if you would like. You can draw right on the page and give him his own silly. Or maybe you just want to use the triangle eyes and give him a different type of mouth. You can do that too. It's all about being creative. And there we go. We've got a goofy looking jack-o-lantern. Look at that awesome job, friends. All right. That's it for Jay, and we'll see you guys next time for the next letter. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.